so hi guys welcome to today we are going to continue the bootstrap series and main thing of this video is I'm going to show you that how to create and pop up in HTML CSS and JavaScript using bootstrap okay means yeah this, we are going to build this means we are going to do this in the in our last project only which we have created in uh, last two videos I think so yep uh, yep this is the third part so in this video we are going to learn that how to create an pop-up means the, that pop-up is actually called it as model uh, yeah I know that very very weird name but yep that is called it as model so uh, don't worry I'm going to show you that what is the model and means, uh, which about which pop-up I'm talking about so let's go in my screen and let's check let's check it out what is pop up okay so guys as you can see here this is my website print matri let's click on that and wait till it loads so guys uh, this is also an element which is called it as actually i don't know it is just called it as collapse and there's just uh, i don't know what is it called it as but I know how to create this actually uh, so guys see this is pop up when I'm clicking on the means this is the modal okay so when I'm clicking on any of this games which I have created if you have not checked it out just go link in the description of my website go on game tab and check it out uh, so I was still I was just saying that when I'm clicking on any of this game as you can see one pop up is coming here this is as this is called it as model and uh, I know that you are thinking that this is very easy you can you are going to use the JavaScript no we are going to not use a single line of code of JavaScript okay so guys uh, as I show you this is a model so here I have created one close op uh, option to close also so when I'm going to click this model is going to close actually it is going to close when I'm going to click on the screen but yeah actually I like this function uh, so guys now let's look how to create that and uh, this is my wait a minute guys this is my visual studio code in which from uh, from last two videos we are working on so guys in last video we have seen we have created this page header and we have seen that how to make it means how to create a responsive page header and yeah I, I like that okay wait a minute then now now I'm thinking that why the image is that much longer now wait 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 if I click on this it is taking me here okay okay so it is wait I think there's one problem so what is that oh okay actually now I'm doing recording so that's why I turn into the turn into a little longer so that's why I means OBS covers the borders of the screen so wait I'm going to write one function to fix that but don't worry Okay guys, I actually got the problem. Um, actually, here I said that max width should be uh, max height should be eight seventy, and that's why this is looking too much longer. But actually, it is actually that's okay because we need that long line, right? Actually, I was thinking that why the scroll bar is coming now. I, I forgot that actually it was it it is I have created in the last project only. So guys, let's go in HTML and start creating our model. So guys, this is our background, means this image inside which our we have all these things, our buttons, and then welcome to the Bootstrap and all this message for the viewers and the and this Bootstrap logo. So outside of the, the outside of this, we are going to create a. Uh, we are going to create a, a model okay so let's start creating that so from where we are starting building a container okay so now we are outside of the background okay 
so first I'm going to write here dev class modal um, what we can call this actually for what we are create uh, let us say for the games or something no problem right uh, okay no problem games oh wait actually I can do one thing uh, what did I name this okay so this dev class is going to be as page header which is going to add some padding and HR to this as here you can see this and we have added the page header in the container also see here we have added that and we are going to add one ID also as games games I think so yep okay so when I'm going to click on games it is going to take me here what wait why it is doing like that actually <coughs> okay so guys as you notice that when I'm clicking on games very rubbly it, it is scrolling my screen and I not want that at all okay so now what I can do so I can say that HTML uh, inside which our all the elements are hmm? I can say that HTML sc scroll behavior behavior is equals to smooth now let's check that oh my god look at that look at that smoothness guys actually it is looking very cool and I want to do one more thing I want to take this uh, my page header which I created for the games in the inside the container okay so it is going to be responsive okay nice 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 okay done so can you see guys I don't know you can see this HR but yep I can see that okay uh, so that is the that is the page header which we have created actually you can't see that because the background is very light don't worry we are going to change the we are going to change that okay let's let's give the actually wait let's check uh, let's write uh, let's check and inspect how we can do that means how we can change the properties of an HR okay okay I got that I got that okay no problem so okay we are going to change it afterwards but let's do the HTML first so guys now what we are going to do we are going to uh, we are going to add the we are going to add uh, the uh, first we are going to add a title of this tab which we have created now for the games so h1 class uh, text capitalize and then I'm going to add right here games okay so you can see now the games is in center center without adding some styling ad adding any styling because we have put it inside the container okay I think you got that and then we are going to close the close our games means we are going to come outside of the games because we are done with this right now I don't know that you can see this line but there is one line uh, then now down of this line I want to create the model so what I'm going to do first I'm going to create one normal dev on which when we are going to click the model should be activated okay so I'm going to name it as dev dot um, what we can name this as a guys please um, let's say that dev dot game one dev dot game one and then we are going to add here some uh, new elements which we are we are learning in this only this video only that is data target do I use this before in the videos? Uh, 
um i don't think so i have so data target is equals to uh so guys what is data target see so i am going to create one dev for the model right so wait uh, let's write first data dismiss then i'm going to explain it the not a data dismiss data toggle uh first write a data toggle and then we are going to write the data target first i'm going to explain you that so what is our data toggle means what we want we need collapse c in the nav bar uh we have created one button right we have created one button whenever screen is going to uh, get collapse means the uh, size of the screen is going to get too much smaller this button is going to come and when i'm clicking on it uh it is collapsing means uh, when i'm clicking it on it it is collapsing and taking back the the tabs which i have created home tab video tab and game tab so collapse is that okay and there is one more means which we are going to, not one more there are too many but today we are going to learn about the model so data target model uh then we are going to write here no data toggle modal data target what we need that data target i'm just checking that my video is on or not so data target i need uh data target is equals to uh means uh see first i'm going to create one dev as model so i want to give that id also Cla i'm going to give the class model okay so it is going to add all the all the styling and all the effects of the model to it okay we got that and we need to give him the give that dev id also because we are calling it when uh, whenever this means our game one dev means whenever our game one dev is clicked we are going to uh, we are going to uh, the model dev means what we are going to create now means afterwards it is going to get popped okay so data target for now i'm giving the id as game underscore one okay and then i'm going to write here inside the game inside the model means the game one dev i'm going to create one h2 here oh, i want to not give any class wait let's give any class okay so we are going to give this uh, give uh, give this uh, h2 as class uh, as text primary so what will be the name of my game let us say adventure means now now i not have any game so i can take my uh, games which i have created but let let us say adventure one game is going to come on my website as adventure simulator but it is going to take so much time so this was just this just for the sample guys so text primary is going to help us to make the text blue there are so many text guys there are so many text suppose there is one text that's text success so see the adventure turns into green so there is one more means there are i i don't know all of them means how how many i know i'm just telling you that text danger it is going to turn into red and there is text warning also warning so it is just going to help us to make it something kind of yellow or brown i don't know which color is this um and there is one more info i don't know means i have used this for the button okay so info is also blue okay no problem and i don't know is there the dark or something i'm not sure text dark what is that um no i can't see any difference between this h1 and this okay let's search here and see how many classes of the text color are there bootstrap not the bootstrap sir the 
bootstrap uh, let us say text color bootstrap text color okay so yep there is dark i thought there is no wait text dark so why it was not working on my side actually i want to see that um text dark okay danger warning info and dark okay there is one more as secondary okay let's test that also so no need to test that because as you can see here it is just tech it is just turning the text the text is turning into into a uh, gray and i i am just thinking that why the i am just thinking that why the dark is not working text dark is it works only on p i don't means on the paragraph i don't know let's try do that text dark did i type something wrong here no okay fine it is not working i don't know why but now let's let's write here text primary only or i can take the paragraph only because i want to write the description okay so descriptions are in the small letters means the font is small right so wait no i'm i'm wrong i'm wrong sorry this is the title so that's why i have written the that's why i have written the adventure here so we not need any class here i thought i'm writing writing the description sorry guys so after this i'm going to add one image uh so src i'm going to keep it as the logo which i download means which i have download um in the previous video wait it's loading okay yep this one uh jpg one okay so i'm going to type here bootstrap jpg and then alert is going to be the game logo i have explained you in the last video also what is the use of alert so let is used as suppose from for uh for because of any reason the game is going to uh, means the image is going to not load uh instead of that image there is uh there is going to return as a uh, game game logo because i return it return it in the alert okay so user can know that that is not too much info in important okay so after that uh, writing the src and alert i want to give the class also to this image as image responsive and then we are going to begin with the other components come on responsive and i think it should work yep that is working okay don't worry guys we are going to manage the height and width also Okay so we are done with the image and now let's write our description class is equals to text primary what i want to do and let's pick the description of any adventure or let us take this only guys um this okay and let's paste this here and actually it is very big um i i just need two or three lines let us take one line maybe i not need to big and actually it is already too big no that is not okay so we are done with that and now let's design this and i want to give one class one more class to this a uh, game one as game containers means i i am going to add few more games in this so i uh, if you want to add so 
directly in instead of writing here the game one i can write here uh, dot game container and then i want to write here red is equals to let us say i need it something like rectangle means height should be little bit more than width so let us stick with that 200 and height as 300 wait what happened why it is not working wait did, okay game containers okay i i type wrong okay that's the game containers guys sorry game okay yep that's it that's it and in the dot game which is the div inside which i have i'm creating my games means not games i'm displaying my games uh so i need the padding also i need some padding so padding i'm going to add no actually i don't think so i'm yep i'm not displaying that in the games okay actually I, I can do one more thing I can write here div dot class is equals to game div and then inside this game div I'm going to write all of my I'm going to write here all of my other means inside this there are going to be all of my components and games which I'm going to display here I know that you're already confused but actually I'm doing something like I, I want to not get confused so that's why I'm creating some devs for I'm creating some div uh, I'm create I want to not get confused so that's why I've created this div uh, so it is going to help me to know that inside which div I have created my I'm displaying my games or something okay so it is going to not do any changes at here okay so now let's save this all not just save ads please save all hmm? okay so now we are going to do one more thing uh, we have given the height to the we have given the width and height to the uh, uh, to the uh, to this uh, game container so now we are going to give some border also I want to not give any background so that's fine so border should be something like 2 pixels solid what about black yeah obviously I'm going to give the black thingy okay 2 pixels solid black um I know that it is looking some it is looking congested let's give some padding also 10 pixels okay don't worry guys we are going to turn this into an epic okay now it is looking something like that but still the still the text is not okay fine I have one idea so now let's give before that let's give some border radius also don't worry we are going to do something to manage the text means the paragraph which is our description so border radius should be 10 pixels something like that yeah that is looking crazy right and I need one HR also actually here okay HR so HR means this line so we got our HR here and guys now let's do some changes in our image so I'm going to type here game containers image and 
then I'm going to type here width is equals to um, let us say 250 pixels and height uh, what about height let us say 250 only so um, no okay I think I should do something else uh, I should uh, decrease a little bit more 150 150 what about that that's too less okay fine let's do the 200 actually take some time to manage the height and width but don't worry it is you, uh, it is going to look better than before when you're going to do that okay so we got our wait let's give some padding in the dot game dot game div inside which we have created all our stuff means of game stuff i mean so padding is going to be at 10 pixels not more okay it is looking better than before and then we are done with the padding and then we are going to write here in the game container I forgot to see the text align center and I forgot to keep the uh, write the semicolon uh, text align center okay why this is not going okay yep I know that float none so when you are adding the image responsive to an image it is wait no why it is not working I should see that height auto Don't worry, I know that that is not responsive, but we are going to make the res make it responsive in the last video. I know that uh, in this video I can't because I'm this video in this video I'm I'm going to show you or others I have, I'm going to do it do it in this video only. Uh, why this image is not going in center? I want to check that. Float none. block okay. so I have an idea so let us try with the margin margin auto please work okay yep that's it and let's give some margin top and bottom also to this um, top is equal to 10 pixels margin no no I'm, I'm just kidding not a 10 pixels I, I just got the habit to write it 10 pixels bottom 5 pixels okay so it is going to maintain some distance between the between this uh, description and and our image okay so i think it is looking very good but wait i have to write here dot dot game containers hr uh width is it was no not the yep yep I want to I need the width also but I was just trying to change first the background so width is equals to 20 pixels and I think it is going to be more than enough background color is equals to black oh 
Yep, I forgot that. I want to increase height. Okay. Um, height. Okay. Twenty pixels. Oh, that looks so cool. Um. Okay, no problem. Five pixels. What about no? Or otherwise only the color. I not need any height or width. Um, actually we can't see that properly. Uh, let's give some height as three or four pixels or two pixels. No. Is it one pixel? Okay, now it is looking something like that. Okay, nice. We can customize it. It's, uh, better than this, but I am. But I want to end this video fast. We are going to customize it. Uh, suppose in the last video of this series of bootstrap uh, if suppose uh, we are going to, means I think we are going to customize all of the all the components properly uh, so box shed I'm going to give x 5 pixels and then 10 pixels and then 30 pixels and then gray Oh yet oh, no, no, no. I given this to image. This is not for the image. This is for the. This is for this. For our game containers. Okay. Now it is looking like better than before, and I don't think so. We need this actually. Just, just remove that. Okay. So this is a game container. I know that in my game I have done better than this. But what I can do, I want to end this video very quickly and look at the time guys. Look at the time actually. And actually this is very short video. I know that you are thinking that how this is short but actually it is because if you are watching my uh, if you have watched my last video, how long was that just cre for just creating the page header? So now I'm going to write here that dev dot model, and so now we are guys just creating our model. Finally, we are creating our model, and I'm going to write here one more thing, that is fade. So guys, fade is the animation. Okay. So if you have seen my website, it is coming something like it is giving some fade effect and then it is coming I have given the fade effect in my website also so yep there is a fade effect uh, otherwise it is going to come like the cut effect means just come means it is going to not look any animation it is going to not look like any animation and then ID we are going to give we are going to give as game one as ID we have given here, so date this is the use of the data target, guys. So game one, and then we are going to give one more. Uh, we are going to create one more div as modal modal dialog modal dialog. As you all know, uh, in the bootstrap we just need the this dash we not need any underscore and I know that you're thinking that why I have not given a dash here actually the model is uh, another function and fade is another function model dialog is just one function so that's why don't mess with the functions guys I'm just telling you before only so modal content we are going to inside the modal dialog we are going to create modal content and inside that means modal content means our header and body so now we are going to create the body means header tag means header modal header modal header i think it is something like that only no not the modal header that is the modal head okay so in this we are going to write here uh, we are going to create and button be first 
why do I create the H2? So button, this is going to be our collapse button. Means when this button is going to click, means this is this is the button, guys. This close option is the button. So we are going to create that. So class is equals to close. Okay. Type is equals to button. Data dismiss. Data dismiss modal. So I know that you are thinking that why I am not writing the ID. Actually, here we are dismissing the uh, any. We are dismissing the component. Okay, not any element. So data dismiss modal, and we are going to write. We are going. To, I know that you are thinking that uh, how do I got this? How do I got this close option? Is this any? Uh, is this any? Uh, Google font or I have written just a X. No, that is not actually that is the I don't know what we can call this, but actually this is and times that is just a text in the HTML. And now let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot to wait. Oh uh, why it is not showing anything? Why it is not showing my header? Class modal header is this actually the header? Oh yeah, that's the header. Okay, so you can see, guys, we are getting our pop up, and there is that we we have the cross also. And now you are thinking that why it is going in the top? I know that. Wait, we are going to fix that. Don't worry, guys. And I want to decrease some. Font a uh, border also. I just need one pixels here, so it is going to look better than before. And then uh, after creating this button, I am going. I'm just. I'm going to not create anything. Uh, or should I create? Okay, let's write here. Let's create an H2. Yep, I need that to create. And I want to give this ID as means class as modal title so this is going to be the title so what is the name of my game that is adventure now let's look how is it looking no modal oh yeah okay actually it is working we got our title also and i don't know but uh, you can see that uh, when I am clicking on it, there is an HR also, but we can't see that because we have not created the body. So let's create the body. So outside, we need to come outside of the model header and then we are going to create the model body. Model body and then H2, not the H2, right? I'm I'm just providing the link of this. In this, I'm going to just provide the link. So link for the link. Obviously, we are provide we are writing the anchor. So h reference is equals to nothing. Or wait, let's take something. Uh, copy. And then paste. So, and I'm going to give the target blank also. So, it is going to not load this. Then, my YouTube, I have just given the link of my YouTube channel. So, whenever it is going to uh, click, wait, I'm going to write here subscribe. Okay, now let's go. Wait. Okay. So yep, we got our subscribe, and see the use of the target blank is it is going to open the uh, link in the new tab. Okay. And if I'm going to say that, if I'm going to remove the target blank, see, let's see what's going to happen. 
it is going to open this in this tab only so we not need that okay we not need that let's bring our target blank back so guys here we have created our here we have created our um uh model but just one thing is remaining uh we need to just go in the styling and as you can see when i'm clicking on it it is it is on the very top so i in the model content as i given the class model content inside which our header header and body uh are so i'm going to say that margin top is equal to 100 pixels yep that's it oh my god it is just looking epic guys and let's give the text lines uh i should give this okay let's give the text line center okay not bad so now we got our model so guys and guys i think this is enough for today's video don't worry we are going to customize this means we are going to do some styling also but in the next video so guys i hope you enjoyed this video just like this video and subscribe my channel guys and i'm going to meet in the next video thanks for watching